Hello everybody, my name is Professor Tribune Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab and today we're just going to be doing a quick summary on Operation Barbarossa. Now, what is Operation Barbarossa? Well, it was a Nazi plan to invade the Soviet Union and it went horribly. Well, not in the beginning, of course. In the beginning, Nazis pushed through like a knife through butter with the Soviet Union being the butter, of course. And they encircled thousands of troops on the way, one even clustering at 250,000. The Nazis encircled 250,000 Russians. That would be like 1,000 white deaths killing 250 people all at once, just like that. In the Soviet Union, the hope seemed lost. And Hitler was like partying in his own room at that point because he thought he was gonna win. But the thing is, the Soviet Union is big. And when I say big, I mean big. Since, since the Germans uh, were all about at Moscow's doorstep, the Germans reached Moscow, they weren't even halfway through Russia. So, uh, what did Russia do? Its capital was about to be taken. Well, it had been producing a bunch of new things. It was moving its factories west and west, and the Germans kept invading west and west. And now they have the uh, air superiority and the ground superiority via armored cars and, you know, airplanes. But the thing was, it, uh, Hitler didn't send winter supplies to the Germans. So the German soldiers, and the Nazi soldiers actually, they were uh, about to die, and their front was about to get really just pushed back. Why? Well, because first of all, the air and ground superiority of the Russians now. The Russians had, uh, had Siberian exiles that were trained to fight for the Soviet Union ready for battle and now the uh, germany was doomed and now for the germans it was not a race to moscow for russians it was a race to berlin 